Dear all, welcome to the playlist of Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory. In this video, I will be discussing how to conduct an experiment on measurement of current, power, power factor of incandescent lamp, fluorescent lamp, compact fluorescent lamp and LED lamps. And the ultimate goal of the experiment is to measure the current, power, power factor of the following lamps such as fluorescent lamp, CFL, LED and incandescent lamps. In order to conduct the experiment, we need the following equipment. We require moving iron type ammeter in the following range 0 to 102 ampere. Then we need a moving iron type voltmeter. If voltmeter is not available, you can use the multimeter. Uh, this is in the range of 0 to 300 volts. Then we require both LPF and UPF fat meter. Okay. For in order to conduct the experiment on LED and CFL, I need LPF fat meter. If I wanted to conduct the experiment on measurement of power for both incandescent lamp and fluorescent tube, I need to have UPF fat meter, unity power factor fat meter. Okay, because those lamps like uh, flu uh, flu fluorescent tube as well as uh, incandescent lamp, both are operating at a high power factor, where LED and CFL that is operating under low power factor. For that purpose, I require separate watt meter. I have explained already the regarding the connections of watt meter. Then we need uh, the following lamps such as incandescent lamp, CFL, LED and also we need surplus amount of connecting wires with a uh, fine quantity. You have to check the continuity as well. With the help of multimeter, you can check the continuity. Okay, let us continue. First of all, you have to understand the connection that is very essential. Okay, where does the uh, source, where is the supply and what about the load? Supply will be here only. Single phase AC supply and uh, having the range of 230 volt and 50 hertz. This is your phase or line terminal. This must be the neutral terminal. Okay. Now the line will be directly connected to ammeter. This is an AC ammeter. It is better to mark like this. If it is an AC ammeter, that means you can mark in this manner. Okay. AC ammeter. And we are having the watt meter. Okay, you have to choose accordingly. Is it a LPF watt meter or UPF watt meter? Uh, M stand for main terminal. L stand for low terminal. C stand for common terminal. And V for voltage terminal. Okay, this is the range of uh, this particular watt meter. And uh, you have to do the connection first. And uh, this is your AC volt meter. You can use the multimeter. Okay, that will be connected across the load to measure the voltage across the load. Okay. And uh, before using the watt meter, you need to calculate the watt meter constant by using the formula. How to calculate watt meter constant? V, uh, v selected, okay, V selected into, uh, I selected into the operating power factor, okay, cos phi divided by um, full scale deflection. I can write it as maximum deflection. So this you are supposed to calculate it. Whatever the reading you are obtaining from the watt meter, that should be multiplied with the watt meter constant. Then only you will be getting the accurate reading. Suppose the watt meter reading is 10. If the watt meter constant is 1 means no problem. 1 into 10 that is nothing but 10 watts. Suppose if I get the watt meter constant is equal to 2, I am supposed to multiply the watt meter reading as 10 into watt meter constant as 2. So I will be getting 20 watts. I hope you understood. So you have to perform the connections. And this is your observation table. Whatever the reading you are obtaining, kindly note down in the table. Okay, we are having the how many columns? We are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns and uh, 4 rows. You are, you are supposed to complete. And uh, you need to calculate the power factor at the end. So, P divided by V into I. Okay, it is the ratio of uh, real power to the apparent power. P means real power, V means apparent power. Okay, so you can able to calculate the power factor as well. Remember, the maximum value of power factor is unity. First of all, I would like to show you the demonstration. You have to understand that this is a table. We are having a table and you can see this is your uh, fluorescent tube. Okay, you can see the number one fluorescent tube. Okay, one. Uh, then second uh, lamp which I shown is incandescent lamp. You can call it as a filament lamp also. So you can see the third one. Third one depicts the light emitting diode LED. And the fourth lamp which I connected is uh, CFL, compact fluorescent lamp. We have the meters. You can see the ammeter, fifth one. Component 5, that represents ammeter. Component 6, we are having the watt meter for the measurement of real power. And uh, we have the voltmeter, seventh one, voltmeter, to measure the voltage across the lamp. 
so here i have i can use uh, multimeter also Mal set the multimeter don't forget to set the multimeter into ac mode so this is actually the setup we need uh, the better qual quant quantity or better quality of uh, fine connecting wires also required remember that for series connection i am supposed to use thick wire uh, 2.5 mm square diameter you can use for a parallel connection i am supposed to use the thin wire 1.5 mm square can be used so this is your experimental setup now i have i'll be showing you how to conduct the experiment okay with the help of demonstration i have taken so please i'll be taking you how to do the uh, connection okay so please observe the video first so let us see how it can be done so supply supplies here now we have the setup here uh, I, I have used multimeter as a voltmeter then you can see the ammeter mi ammeter moving ion type ammeter range is also there okay you can select the range this is your watt meter okay these are the terminals load terminals terminal 1 and terminal 2 so this is for measurement of power for fluorescent tube okay we have led sorry we have incandescent lamp then we have cfl lamp and we are having led so i have arranged in this manner so connections are done as per the circuit diagram okay now i'll be showing you how to measure the power for incandescent lamp so let me show you the video connections are done as per the circuit diagram okay now what you are supposed to do is select the load terminal here that means this is your filament lamp or incandescent lamp please turn on the supply you can measure the voltage across the lamp and also you can measure the power consumed by the lamp in with the help of watt meter it will be almost 100 watts okay so note down very carefully avoid the parallax error and you can measure the ammeter reading also if you select 1 ampere means i need to see the lower scale suppose if i select 2 ampere i have to see upper scale likewise you, know, you can note down the same reading in the tabular column okay afterwards you can turn off the supply i hope you understood now i'll be showing you how to measure the power consumed by led lamp so you have to use the, the uh, load terminal across led you can use the lpf admeter you can see the lpf admeter here don't forget to calculate the watt meter constant connections are done as per the circuit diagram turn on the supply then you can measure the voltage across the lamp see that is 230 volt the current consumption is very very less okay see okay and also you have to note down all the reading after completion of the reading you can turn off the supply and the next i can measure the cfl lamp power consumed by cfl lamp so connections are done as per the circuit diagram select the convenient point now you can measure the current okay then voltage then power remember that you are using lpf admeter here also okay so after taking down the reading you can turn off the system turn off the entire circuit next is actually i'll be showing you the fluorescent tube so supply is here we are providing the supply from here in that uh, black wire indicates neutral and uh, red colored wire indicates phase or line same procedure you can measure the current uh, then power while taking reading try to avoid parallax error okay so note down all the reading appropriately and you can able to compute the power factor okay so if you take down the reading properly then we will come to know that among four lamps the incandescent lamp consume maximum power and led consumes the least power that is why it is better to use led in your household application nowadays lot of leds are emerging out in spite of incandescent lamp because incandescent lamp almost 80 to 90 percentage of uh, energy will be wasted as uh, light energy heat okay not light but led that is a efficient lamp okay and i have referred the textbook of basic electrical engineering written by uh, dc kulchetra uh, if you are having any queries you can put up in the comment box Thank you for watching this video. Please share and subscribe. I have one more channel uh, if you for especially for competitive examination preparation. Finally, thank you very much for watching watching this video and your kind support.